Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good, excellent. How are you today? How are you? How are you today? Hello, uh, Melody. Good evening, Andrea, Veronica, David. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, thank you for being here today. I'm sorry that yesterday uh, we couldn't get the class going. We had some uh, technical problems with uh, with uh, with uh, um, the platform. So we were having trouble, but uh, we'll make up the class on Friday, okay? All right, very good. So how have you been practicing? What have you been doing for the speaking section of the TOEIC? What have you been doing? Tell me, what have you been doing for the speaking section? Have you been practicing? Yes? No? Have you been practicing? No? I have been practicing to taking notes. Uh, that, first, the, um, mm -hmm. the ideas. Yeah. And then uh, I used like a guide to speak then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. That's good. That's good, Andrea, because you're taking notes, right? The speaking section, you're going to have to take notes. And, uh, and, and it's good that you uh, update those skills, the, the uh, note-taking skills. Okay. All right. So we'll do a little bit of everything. If you look there on the platform, it's very short, uh, the speaking section, right? It's very short because it's only two type of questions, right? Uh, personal questions or content questions. Uh, and you have to take notes and, and speak basically, right? So we're gonna go ahead and continue practicing that this week. And uh, we want to learn how to take notes, what strategies I can use, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and share with you, right? Uh, I just want to remind you a little bit about what we were doing. So we were looking at the presentation that I sent you um, on WhatsApp. I put all three presentations that we've done. I put the, the reading, the listening, and I put the speaking there. It's for you to have if you want to study and you want to look at any of the, of the notes there. Okay, so remember we have two types of questions, right? For the speaking, uh, speaking test, right? We have independent questions and content-based questions. Who remembers? What, are, what is the difference between those two? What are independent questions? Independent questions are going to be uh, for our opinion mm -hmm. or something very isolated. But content-based questions will be based on lectures or conversations or a paragraph or the integrated stuff of that. Of Excellent, very good, Melody, correct. Independent questions are going to be your ideas, your opinion, and content-based questions is going to be something that you listen to, that you read, uh, something that you give your opinion about, but it's about what you read or you heard, okay? Uh, do we take notes for both? Do we take notes for independent questions and for content-based questions? Should we take notes? Yes. Yes, definitely, right? For the right? first time, we should mm -hmm. make a script just for following mm -hmm. the main ideas that we are going to explain. OK, very good. So uh, you're going to take some notes. You're going to take, a, uh, for example, if they ask you an independent question, which can be something about your opinion, right? Uh, for example, do you agree or disagree with people smoking in restaurants? 
right? That can be a subjective question. And then you, you're going to uh, give my ideas, okay? So I have three main ideas. I'm gonna write those down briefly. And that's, I have 15 seconds to prepare, right? And then I'm going to speak using the linking words, uh, organizing my ideas. Okay, content-based questions, you take notes, definitely, right? Because you're listening to something or you're reading something. Okay, so what is the biggest problem that we can have? Sometimes it's time, right? It's the time, that's gonna be the biggest obstacle. So you have to learn how to take notes quickly, how to organize your ideas quickly. Uh, fluency is speaking consistently and natural speed, okay? So when they tell you record your voice, you have 30 seconds to record your, your voice. Um, don't speak fast, right? But speak cons consistently at a natural speed, okay? So what are they looking for in the, in the speaking test? What areas, right? I put three areas here, grammar, vocabulary, and most importantly, thought organization, right? This is what they're looking for, that you, you're able to develop your ideas uh, coherently, okay? So this is uh, something that, that you can do, right? So if you want to, um, for this speaking section of the test, two things that you can do. Number one is note-taking skills, right? Es mejorar esas habilidades de note-taking skills. And number two, thought organization, okay? Organizing ideas. So that's two things that you can do. Que te, esas dos cosas te van a dar resultados, right? Inmediatamente. Note taking skills and thought organization. Those two things. Si no trabajan en ninguna otra cosa, trabajen en esto, por lo menos. Por lo menos. Note taking skills and thought organization. Okay? All right. Uh, personal opinion questions, right? Ya vimos estas. Um, they ask you to express your own ideas, your own experiences, your own opinions. All right, we're always going to use linking words. Always use linking words. You don't have to use all of them, right? Ya, ya se memorizaron algunas, las que van a usar, las que se, con las cuales se sienten cómoda. Uh, for example, first, second, also, furthermore, besides, additionally, finally, okay? So, aprendense unas, aprendense unas diez, les dije, ¿verdad? So that you guys can have a good, a good grasp for those, okay? All right, por lo menos unas cuatro que se aprendan, right? And that's going to help you a lot. All right, time limits, 15 seconds to prepare, 45 seconds to speak on the long passages. You can use paper and pencil and always listen for the beep, right? Don't stay quiet. If you hear the beep, say something, right? Whatever. Es mejor que opines algo, right? que no tenga nada que ver con el tema, <laughs> you know, but um, it's, it's better than to, if you stay silent, then it's going to be marked as a zero. Uh, type of questions that you can have, for example, do you agree or disagree? What is your opinion about? Why do you think this? Tell us about you. What is your favorite idea and why? These are different type of questions, right? Pueden haber diferentes. Uh, use complete questions, complete uh, statements, complete sentences. Use thought organization and linking words. Okay, that's my tips for you. Integrated questions, right? Ya vimos que it's basically everything, speaking, listening, and writing together. Okay, a type of questions, you can have lectures, reading articles, People speaking, for example, a student and a professor, uh, you can have more than one speaker, okay? Same thing, take notes, igual como hicimos en la parte de listening, okay? So, si están, si están uh, aprendiendo a tomar notas, eso les va a ayudar tanto para the speaking part como también para el listening part. A strategies for thought organization, right? Um, remember to use the linking words. Una vez más, lo pongo para que... Empiecen a usar ustedes por lo menos unas, unas cinco, unas diez, right? Uh, remember, the linking words is like changing gears, changing ideas, right? You go first, also, next, finally, etc. 
Uh, so this is a good way to do it. You can use something like this, right? If you want to uh, give your topic, right? Now, dijimos, ¿verdad? Que solo tenemos 15 a 20 segundos, ¿verdad? Para preparar. So, no tienen que escribir esto. Eso puede estar en su cabeza, right? Main idea, the topic. That can be in your head, so you don't have to write that, right? The linking words, no las tienen que escribir. Me imagino que ya se las memorizaron, right? So, don't worry about the linking words, right? No tienen que escribir eso. Okay, what do you have to write? Only the idea, right? Only the idea. Uh, for example, uh, do you agree or disagree with people smoking in restaurants? I disagree with people smoking in restaurants. Why? Number one, uh, it can be secondhand smoke. It's bad, okay? Uh, also, it's dirty smelly right uh also uh it's rude right and falta de respeto is rude and that's it right digamos que solo voy a hablar de ese estrés okay so i have three ideas here right pueden hacer esto ustedes en 15 segundos solo escribir eso claro que sí verdad solo escribir eso right no tengo que llenar todo este cuadro porque no me va a dar tiempo right but you can at least organize your ideas right and remember to put, when you're speaking, use the linking words. Okay, questions for this type of a strategy? Okay, I have another one here that you can use. This one's also main idea, linking word, and detail one, detail two, detail three. Okay, changing always with a linking word. This can be... Uh, another another way to do it. So uh, today we're going to practice. We're going to listen to a test, take notes, compare notes, and we're going to work on our thought organization. So quiero que estén usando uno de estos. El primero, el segundo, right? Alguno de estos. Okay, todos tienen este material que por, por lo menos, eh, creo que esto lo puse, estos, do, estos dos cuadritos lo puse en el grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, Quiero que tengan algo así allí o quieren crear su propio está bien. y las linking words. Okay, so you, you should have these two things there close by. Okay, very good. So I want to show you a video. Uh, it's about it's an introduction video for the speaking section. Okay, so let me uh, put the audio. Go ahead and listen. If you want to take notes, go ahead and take notes for the video just to get some more information about the speaking section. And then we'll discuss it after. In this lesson, we'll look at what is on the TOEFL speaking section. So you're going to have a few different types of speaking tasks. What do you have to talk about? The first couple of questions in this section are independent, meaning they don't include any reading or listening. You talk about your own experiences and your opinions, things from your own head. You won't summarize anything, just give your thoughts. The next questions are integrated, that is, you will listen and read, or just listen and then summarize what you heard or read. Two of those will be about lectures. You'll listen to a professor talk to a class, and then you'll summarize what the professor said using your own words. The other two will be about student life. There'll be conversations again, and you'll summarize what you heard about those students' lives and their problems or their discussions with their friends or professors. We'll look at this in more detail later in this lesson. For now, let's move on to talk about the clock. As always, the speaking section is timed, just like the other sections. All of the TOEFL is, of course, timed. Now, the speaking section is interesting because the clock is very short. You don't really have much time. The independent tasks, the first two, each give you 45 seconds to speak. 
and before you speak, the test only gives you 15 seconds to prepare. That might seem kind of crazy. 15 seconds? What can you do in 15 seconds? It's barely enough time to pick up your pencil, write down a word, one word, and put your pencil back down. It's very, very short. But don't panic. Don't be scared by this. You only have 45 seconds to speak because that's all you need. You don't need more time. You don't need to say a whole essay. You just need to give a few sentences. They don't need very much from you. They only want 45 seconds worth of talking. The next tasks are integrated tasks, and they're a little bit longer. These are the ones that ask you to summarize a lecture or summarize a conversation and maybe summarize a lecture and a reading or a conversation and a reading. You get 60 seconds to speak on all four integrated tasks and for two of them you get 20 seconds to prepare and the other two you get 30 <laughs> seconds to prepare. So you have a little bit more time here. Because you have such short time for all of these tasks, you need to use that time very carefully. Don't spend too much time talking about one topic if you need to mention three other topics also. You need to go quickly and carefully through everything that you want to say. And yes, this does cause some stress. The best way to deal with stress is to practice speaking with a clock. Do it often. Use a timer on your phone or computer or watch or whatever and speak about a topic for exactly 45 seconds or 60 seconds, one minute. Do that again and again and again. When you're on a train, when you're on a bus and you don't want to talk by yourself because maybe other people will think you're crazy, do it in your head. Take out your phone, time yourself, and speak for 60 seconds in your head about some specific topic. Do it when you're cooking. Do it when you're walking. Do it when you're driving. Well, okay, maybe not when you're driving. Don't crash your car. But when you're cooking, fine. When you're walking, fine. Anytime is the point. The best way to manage this time is to structure your speaking. Now, you don't have a lot of time to plan and structure what you want to say. It might seem like it's a little bit difficult if you only have 15 or 20 seconds. But you do have enough to create a very quick, very general, very simple structure that you'll follow when you speak. The basic structure is something like this. Now, this can really change depending on the speaking task. Question one is very different from question number four. But we'll look at the specific structures for each question in later lessons. For now, just understand this very general structure of the big idea and then detail one, detail two, etc. This is what your notes will look like in that 15 seconds before you speak or 30 seconds before you speak. What's the main idea? What's the first detail, second detail, etc. You'll want to use that structure to manage your time. Say, for example, you can spend about 15 seconds speaking about the main idea. Then you can spend 15 seconds speaking about detail one. Then you can spend 15 seconds speaking about detail two, etc. That way you can organize your thoughts and you can finish on time. Say everything you want to say. Now this 15 seconds for each is not exact, of course, and it does change between different topics, different speaking questions. The important idea is that you will match with the clock at least 
in a rough way. So it might be 10 seconds for the main idea, or it might actually be five seconds for the main idea, but you want to know exactly when it's time to move from the main idea and start the next part, and then move from the next detail onto detail number two, etc., etc. Now, let's go back and review the individual speaking tasks one by one. The first two questions are independent. They're just... Okay, guys, I'm going to stop it here because it's the same information that I gave you in, in my presentation, okay? Uh, but I just want you to know that uh, the same tips, the same tips that, uh, that I'm giving you is the same tips that anyone else is going to give you in the video. All right, so let's go ahead and, and uh, let's open up a, a practice test, okay? So I want you to get paper and pencil. I want you to get ready to have your notes, take notes, right? Um, so you should have two type of, uh, two things in your notes, right? First is what I'm, the information that I'm getting, whether it's reading or listening, and what I'm going to say. So you should have two type of notes, right? What I'm listening to, what I'm reading, and what I'm going to say, okay? So the most important thing that you can do is find a structure that works for you, okay? So encuentren algún tipo de estructura que, que le va a funcionar, okay? For the, for the speaking part, okay? All right. Give me a second and I'm going to put the video in a few. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and share again. Uh, this time we're gonna look at a, a video that is an actual test. Uh, no, it's not this one, it's this one. Okay, very good. Can you see the, the test? In this question, you will be asked to give your... Okay, can you see the test there, question number one? Yeah. Can you see it? No, yes. I can't. No, okay. Let, let me let me yes. share it. Yes. Uh, de, debería decir question number one y, y tiene una foto de, de No, it doesn't have the question. Uh -huh. Okay. But, yes, uh, I can see the Your opinion about a photo. Okay, very good. So I'm going to play this video, right? I think we, we did, we practiced this one, this first question. I think we practiced question number one and two. Okay, I said Jalisimos, question one and two, all right? But let's uh, let's go ahead and practice. Uh, I think question number one is going to be only a, your opinion, okay? So you don't have to take notes there for any listening or reading section, but you do have to prepare your answer, right? So let's listen. Let's, let's, uh, let's do the 15 seconds to prepare, and then we can share together here us let's share what we have familiar topic after you hear the question you will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak number two do you agree or disagree with the following statement children should receive money for doing household tasks such as cleaning Use specific examples and details to support your opinion. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin. Okay, very good. So... Uh... Uh, we had 15 seconds to prepare an answer for this question, right? So this is a question, uh, do I, I agree or disagree? Children should receive money for, for doing household tasks, such as cleaning the, the house. Do you agree or disagree? 
Okay. Now I want you to tell me, uh, you, we, we're going to share different opinions, right? Tell me, I agree or disagree, right? I, van a estar en uno, en uno de esas categorías, right? Agree or disagree. But you need to give me two or three reasons why you agree or disagree, right? Porque eso sería lo que van a grabar en la, en la, la, parte, que, la parte que sigue después de esta, ¿verdad? Okay, so uh, what do you have? Let's see, uh, Melody, what do you have? Well, I have, please don't uh, I think I think children should not receive money for doing household tasks such as cleaning because it has to be a duty for them in order to construct responsibility. Secondly, children have to to learn how to do things for themselves. Uh, also, it's important for them to be self-sufficient, and when they are when they grow, so when they grow, they will be more productive. Very good. Very good, Melody. Excellent. A very organized, good use of linking words, right? Uh, next time, I'm going to time you, right? So you can practice the timing. Like 40, you have 40, I think I 45 seconds. So we'll practice the timing. All right, very good. Uh, who else? Who else has some organization, some, some thought organization? Who else? Somebody else has a different uh, thought organization? Andrea, are you there? Wilfredo, I think so I saw David. Me, I'm in agreement mm -hmm. with the children receive money doing households because uh, they start since they are children to receive mm -hmm. money because they know that to receive money they have to do some work uh -huh. and then uh, receive a, comp a compensative for doing that uh, tasks. Compensation. <laughs> Compensation. Okay, very good, very good, Andrea, all right. Excellent. Okay, now let me ask you, Andrea, did you, Write your main ideas down when you when you preparing your answer. Um, yeah. No, no, in this moment not because I'm I'm taking care of my children and ah, it's okay. too difficult to take okay. notes. Yes. I understand. Okay, no problem. But if you were doing the test, right? What I recommend is that you organize your ideas first, right? So you have 15 seconds to prepare. That's when you put uh, idea one, idea two, idea three, right? And that's and, and that's what you're going to talk about. Uh, remember to use linking words, right? First, also, finally. Okay, very good. Next, who wants to share? Um, okay, me, I think. All right, now. Well, I do think that. Wait, 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 wait. Lo vamos a hacer un poquito diferente. I'm going to give you 45 seconds to answer, right? Como, como fuera el examen. Okay. All right, ready, go. Well, first off, I am in agreement with children getting a compensation for doing household charts because it serves as an incentive for the children to do their tasks. Although I do believe that if they are getting a compensation for doing the chores, it means that they will not be getting more stuff from it because it will serve them same compensation can be used for them to buy their stuff. And also it will give them an advanced and more advanced perspective of how, of the importance of money. Good, all right, very good. Y ahora termina 45 seconds now. <laughs> all right, very good. So you did it, you did it within time, excellent. Okay, all right, how did you feel with the linking words? How did you feel um, with, the, with the linking words? 
I did so so, I think. Okay, yeah. all right. So the linking words, right? Remember, remember that they're going to uh, help you organize those ideas, right? Now, did you write down some some preparation? Did you write down some notes to prepare? Mm, not really. I just organized the, the ideas in my head. I don't think <laughs> that 15 minutes will it will be enough time 15 seconds. to write them down. Okay, very 15 good. 15 seconds, I mean, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so what were your ideas? I just tell me the ideas. One, two, and three. What were your main ideas? First will be that it can serve as an incentive, mm -hmm. but it, removing the other gifts that are not for special days. Mm -hmm. And lastly, this will serve as a as an extra because it will teach them the importance of money. Okay, very good. Own. So you so you have incentive, uh, they can save money for their birthdays and it will be uh, teach them the value of money. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So what you can do if you want is in those 15 seconds, right? Only write down those, those main ideas. Yes, yes, sí. solamente una palabrita. Yo solo pusiera incentive, number one. Number two, eh, mm -hmm. save money for birthday. Number three, eh, teach you the value. That's it, finish, mm -hmm. right? And when I'm speaking, I'm going to be looking at that, okay? So try to use mm -hmm. that. Maybe that can help you. All right, very good. Uh, let's let's go to the question number two. Now, question number two, you have to listen. For question number two, you're going to have to listen, okay? To, uh, I think it's a conversation. All right, so let's take notes on the conversation. Remember, what are we looking for? We're looking for the topic, the main idea, and any important details. That's it, okay? Speaking after the beep. Yeah, you have 45 seconds left down for to finish that section. Question, you read a okay. short passage about a campus situation and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Okay, so we have 45 seconds to read the article. Um, and if you want, if you have time, then you can take down any notes. Read a student letter in the campus newspaper. You will have 50 seconds to read the letter. Begin reading now. Okay, I'm gonna read it for you guys. An airport bus for school breaks. Students who fly home for the winter and spring breaks need to get to and from the airport which is a half an hour from campus. I think the university should run a free bus service for students between campuses and the airport during the week. This would help the students since there is no public transportation between the campus and the airport. In order to provide service to the, to the airport, some of the buses that normally run between the campus buildings when classes are in session could run between the school and the airport during the school breaks. All right, an airport bus for school breaks. Okay. Just now this. listen to two students discussing the letter. Did you see this, Jim? What do you think about her idea? I think it'd be great. It'd make things much less expensive because our campus is located outside the city. If you can't get a friend with a car to give you a ride, there's no other way to get to the airport and your only choice is to take a taxi. I know, I've had to take a taxi before and it's pretty expensive. Yeah, like 30 or $40, which is a lot, especially for students. Yeah, definitely. And I think it would work, what she's suggesting. I mean, there's less need for buses on campus during that time to take students between the buildings. You mean because classes are over then? Yeah, exactly. There might be some final exams still going on, but regular classes won't be meeting. There are much fewer students left on campus, and they don't need to get around campus that often. Yeah, I, I guess they're just making occasional trips to take exams or go to the library or gym or whatever. Right. 
it shouldn't cause any problem for anyone who still needs to get around campus. The man expresses his opinion about the proposal described in the letter. Briefly summarize the proposal, then state his opinion about the proposal and explain the reasons he gives for holding that opinion. Okay, very good. I want to stop here because I want to show you the three different things you have to do. So for this speaking task, there's three things you have to do. Number one, briefly summarize the proposal, right? So allí tenían que tomar notas de la parte de reading, okay? ¿Cuál era el propósito de esa carta? Like the main idea, okay? That's the main idea, right? Y creo que estaba en el título también, right? So that's your first thing that you have to show there. Number two, uh, state his opinion about the proposal. Eh, el, el, el hombre que estaba hablando, does he agree or disagree with the letter? Okay. And explain the reasons for his holding that opinion. Es decir, ¿por qué él dice eso? Okay. All right. So there's three different things you have to do here in this task. Okay. I think you have 45 seconds to speak. All right. And you should, what I would do is spend only 15 seconds in each section. No more than that. One sentence or two sentences for each section, and that's it. Okay. All right. Very good. So. ¿Quieren escuchar el reading otra vez? ¿Quieren ver el reading y escuchar otra vez? Or you want to try to answer? Yes. Yes. Let's try it again. All right. Let's try it again, right? Again. Solo estamos practicando, ¿verdad? De eso se trata. So no tengan, no hay problema. Okay? So look, first thing, you have 45 seconds for the letter, right? An airport bus for school breaks. Students who fly home for the winter and spring breaks need to get to and from the airport, right? So estamos hablando de estudiantes en una universidad, right? But they, they need to get to the airport, from the university to the airport, which is half an hour uh, from campus. Aquí viene la opinión de la persona. I think the university should run a free bus service for students between campus and the airport during the breaks. Yeah, okay, that's it, right? That's the main idea. Okay, so, adelantar un poquito. Now listen to two students discussing the letter. Did you see this, Jim? What do you think about her idea? I think it'd be great. It'd make things much less expensive, because our campus is located outside the city. If you can't get a friend with a car to give you a ride, there's no other way to get to the airport, and your only choice is to take a taxi. I know. I've had to take a taxi before, and it's pretty expensive. Yeah, like $30 or $40, which is a lot, especially for students. Yeah, definitely. And I think it would work, what she's suggesting. I mean, there's less need for buses on campus during that time to take students between the buildings. You mean because classes are over then? Yeah, exactly. There might be some final exams still going on, but regular classes won't be meeting. There are much fewer students left on campus, and they don't need to get around campus that often. Yeah, I, I guess they're just making occasional trips to take exams or go to the library or gym or whatever. Right. It shouldn't cause any problem for anyone who still needs to get around campus. The man expresses his opinion about the proposal described in the letter. Briefly summarize the proposal, then state his opinion about the proposal and explain the reasons he gives for holding that opinion. Okay, so briefly summarize the proposal. That, that will be the first one, the first thing we have to do, okay? Uh, alguna op opinión? What do you guys think? How would you summarize the proposal? The letter. How would you summarize the letter that you read? That they need the position to go to a uh, from campus to the uh, to the airport because uh, taxis is very expensive. Ahí está. Now that is the proposal, right? Remember, Wilfredo, right? Eso es lo yes. que estaba en la carta. Yes. 
Now, That's the man, the man is going to explain his reason. Does he agree or disagree? The man. No, he doesn't agree. That's right. No, he does. He, agree. I mean, he, does, he does agree. agree. Yeah, he does yeah. agree. Correct. Correct. So he agrees with the proposal. He thinks it's a great idea. Why? Mm -hmm. Why does he say yeah. that? Because they said that when they, uh, the only choice that they have is to take a taxi mm -hmm. and they have to spend money like a 30 or 40 dollars. Mm -hmm. And that's why they consider that uh, to get that proposal mm -hmm. uh, to move from the university to the airport, mm -hmm. that would be better for them because it's going to help and they are going to save money and time. Mm -hmm. Good, good. And there was one more reason. Do you remember another reason why he he agrees? Because they they don't have uh, public passes right there, mm -hmm. so that's the reason they were. Therefore, they asking to the uh, so they have passes from the school, you know, mm -hmm. to be provided. Also, he says that there's. During that time, there is less need for buses in the school. So yeah. the buses are available, están disponible, right? To, to take people to the airport. Um, th that's it. That was the two reasons that he um, that he described. Okay, now, lo, lo difícil aquí sería poner todo eso junto, ¿verdad, Wilfredo? Yeah, that's right. Put all those three, three things together, right? That would be the mm -hmm. hard thing. So, uh, but, but I think you did a good job, right? Yo te fui guiando así, pero tú respondiste muy bien. Okay? Okay. That's it. Right. Excellent. Uh, uh, someone has an, another question about this? Right? So ya entendieron, ¿verdad? Uh, son three different things that they're asking you for the in, in the speaking. All right. Let's go to another question, right? All right, estamos aprendiendo, estamos explorando, so that's good. All right, les recomiendo siempre, ustedes pueden ver estos exámenes on YouTube, and I recommend you do it, you practice, okay? Um, to, to practice your thought organization and your notes. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Ah, so look, Wilfredo, 30 seconds, so it's going to be short, right? So it's going to be quick. All right, let's go to the next. Uh, oh, wait, wait, no, prepare your response. Ah, they give you 30 seconds, perdón, 30 seconds to prepare your response. And they give you one minute, one minute to record. Ah, okay, so it's gonna be a little more difficult, but the good thing is that they give you more time to prepare. Okay. So they give you almost one minute to prepare. Okay. All right, let's go to another question. The reading will talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question. You Hold on. Okay. Number go. four. In this question, you will read a short passage on an academic subject and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Number four. Read a passage about the choice supportive bias from a psychology textbook. You will have 45 seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Okay, so we have 45 seconds to read the passage. Choice supportive biases. People often make decisions by considering the advantages or disadvantages of each option. However, after a person selects an option, there is a tendency for that person to exhibit the choice supportive basis. All right, so ¿qué quiere decir eso? After selecting it, an option, a person may begin to favor that option. Ah, do you see? That's what it means. Without being fully aware of it, people who exhibit this bias tend to focus on and remember only the advantages of the option they selected. As time passes, they will overlook the option's disadvantages, eventually even forgetting them. All right, so 
Haciendo un poquito de skimming and scanning, what is the main idea of this passage? Having bias in, in uh, chosen option. Okay. Or having bias over a previously chosen option, it would be. Mm -hmm. Okay, correct, right? So you have choice A or choice B, you choose A and then you become biased for that choice, right? Okay, very good, very good. That's the main idea, right? So eso es lo que tenemos que entender, right? At least the main idea. Okay, let's go to the listening now. Now listen to part of a lecture on this topic in a psychology class. Okay, so an example of this from my own life. Five or six years ago, I was helping a friend of mine decide on a house to buy. He had been in the market to buy a house, and he had it narrowed down to this one house that he was interested in. What he really liked about this house was it had an excellent location. It was in a great place that was actually in the same part of town where he was working, right up the street from his job, so he wouldn't have far to drive to get to work, which he really liked. However, the downside of this house was that it was smaller than what he was hoping to buy. He had wanted to buy sort of a big house, and this house just wasn't that big. So it was a tough decision, but my friend eventually did decide to buy the house. And a few years after he made the purchase, I remember we were talking about the decision and why he decided to buy the house. He told me, well, of course, it was because of the house's location. He told me how happy he was with the fact that it was so close to his work, how great it was that it was only a few minutes from his job. I said, yes, but what about its size? Do you still think the house is kind of small? And he looked at me kind of surprised. Small? What do you mean small? Like he didn't know what I was talking about. The house's size, a couple of years after buying it, just didn't seem to be on his mind anymore. Explain how the example from the professor's lecture illustrates the choice supportive bias. Okay, very good. So the, the professor gave an example, a story, right? He gave a story about a friend about a house. His friend bought a house and there was something good about it and something bad about it. What was the good thing about the house? The house is near to his job. Yes, correct. The location was close to his job. And what was the bad thing about the house? Mm, it's a small. Size. It was the size, correct, small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smaller. And the example, the professor explains that after the person, uh, what, which house did he buy? The person, the small house, right? He bought the, the house even, even if it was smaller. Uh, years later, the professor saw his friend and asked him about the house. The person liked the house. And when he asked him about the size, what happened? They forgot about it. He forgot the about it. <laughs> Correct. He forgot about it. Very, very good. Now, so what can you do in something like this, right? What you can do is tell the story, retell the story, right? Es como contar lo que escucharon, right? Como contar la historia otra vez, right? So, eso es lo que yo hiciera, right? Honestly, um, I would tell the story again, right? No palabra por palabra, but I would kind of retell the story and I would explain how this supports the choice supported basis. Okay, so uh, I'm going to give you time to prepare, right? Please prepare your answer after the beep. Okay, you got 30 seconds to prepare, right? Ready? Prepare your answer, 30 seconds.
Please begin speaking after the beep. Okay, you have one minute to explain, okay? Who wants to try it? Who wants to try it? Practice this one. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, but I'm going to uh, use the time, the clock. Ready? Who wants to try it? Who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? No, I'll do no. it. All right. Okay, so I'm going to give you 30 seconds, okay? Uh, well, okay. One more time, read the question. Explain how the example from the professor's lecture illustrates the choice supported basis. Bias. Go. 30 seconds. Uh, 60 okay. seconds. Now, or you're going to let me know? Eh, I'm going to let you, bueno, voy, para que tú puedas ver aquí, este, le voy a dar play al video so that you can okay. see the time, okay? All right, all right. Go, go. At this time, uh, a friend was helping to his friend to get, eh, to buy a house. And these houses they were looking for was supposed to be a bigger house than they find. And when they find it, they noticed that the house was located near his job and was things that he likes about. But with the time he met his friend and asked him for the house and all that. And, and he said he was happy with the house. He forget about that he was talking to him that house was smaller than he, he wanted to buy. So uh, this guy uh, said that he was living comfortably in his house and finally he was happy. Okay, That's very it. good. Stop, <laughs> 60 seconds, very good. All right, so. <laughs> can I try my, can I try yeah, somebody else wants to try it? Okay, very good, very good, Rufel. Here you go. Oh. Okay, ready? No sé quién va a ir. Yes. Okay. Me? Ready? Go. Well, first, in the example, we could see that his friend at first wanted to find a house and found a house that was near perfect, but the size was too small. Still, after some choices, he buys it. And, uh, well, what really gets to me is that after years of living in that house, mm -hmm. he somehow stopped seeing it as, as a small. And well, what we can see here and how it illustrates it is that after seeing some disadvantages of the thing that they choose, despite and still choosing it, they forgot the previously seen disadvantages. Mm -hmm. It's a very clear sign sign of bias in this case. Perfect. Good job. Good Number job. six. All right. Very good. Good job. Okay, we're going to stop here because we we only have four minutes. We're not going to have time. Okay, for to continue. But tomorrow we're going to continue doing this. All right. So esto esto no puede ayudar todo. Right to take notes, to cap uh, skimming and scanning for the reading section and to organize our ideas for the speaking section, okay? All right, very good. No sé si alguien tiene preguntas, questions, uh, or someone wants to make a comment, or tienen algún tip, quieren compartir? Provide us by, uh, by uh, WhatsApp a, a uh, TOEFL test. This, like this. I don't one. know if you can do that. Yeah, like, like you know, one. to prepare for the final one. Yeah, like that one. Um, okay, yeah. What I did was go to, um, a, I went to YouTube. I went to I went to YouTube last time you sent us the address and the link. And mm -hmm. uh, I went there and, you know, I was doing some tests for it right there, but mm -hmm. While they are speaking about the process, mm -hmm. the test, 
Uh, when I was working on the test, they were speaking and all that. They they didn't stop or speaking. Then they, they you just couldn't choose in the answers and all that, and they don't, but they don't stop. Oh, but I don't know but, if it was. Uh huh. No, but what you can do with Fred, right? Because let's say you're watching a video, right? What you can do mm -hmm. is stop it. Tal vez el video así está continuo because it's just a video, right? Si tú viste right. en, el, mm -hmm. en el video allí que yo estaba mostrando, la persona estaba dando click. No sé si viste que yeah, daba well, click. Yeah, got step, but... Mm -hmm. okay. Bueno, en, en un examen eh, normal, eso tú lo vas a estar haciendo. Tú vas a estar dándole click. Okay. Okay. Um, but, okay. but what you can do is stop it. Stop the video, right? So here, let, right. Me, let me send you there in, in WhatsApp. I'm going to send you guys another one. All right, that's, that's going to be great for practice. All right, so practice. Thank you. Uh, go to, go yeah. to YouTube and put TOEFL speaking test. Uh, practice mm -hmm, test. That's, yeah, that's okay. what I did. In the, all right, thank you, man. Okay, all right. Anybody else? You guys have any, any comments or any, any tips you want to share? Any... Any ideas or any topics, uh, something that helps you that you want to share it with others? Something, some new ideas or something, right? That that you're using, alguna estrategia que tú estás usando, that, that, that you think it is going to work good for you. What do you think? Well, my, my recommendation is this, right? Yo les dije que se graben la voz. That's important. So you can record yourself and then play it back. So use your phone, right? The, 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 the most powerful weapon that you have is your, is your cell phone, right? And the internet. So record yourself, time yourself, listen to yourself, organize your ideas using thought organization, and, and linking words and practice taking notes. Okay. Eh, eso de practicing taking notes lo pueden hacer con cualquier cosa. You can go to, for example, a YouTube and you can go to CNN y ver una noticia corta de CNN, un reportaje de tres minutos de CNN. Okay. Uh, o alguna eh, cadena de noticias de Estados Unidos, right? Fox News, CNN, right? De derecha, izquierda, donde sea. You can listen to an audio and take notes from there, okay? Or you can listen to TED Talks, okay? Eh, lo mejor sería hacer ese tipo de practice test que están en el top, ahí en YouTube. All right, very good. Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo van en la plataforma? Are you guys uh, finishing section four? Deberían de estar ya, right? Finishing section four, which is the speaking section. I almost finished the section number four, teacher. Ah, okay. See, so section number four is the, the, the writing, right? Okay. So yeah, writing. Should, this week we should finish section number three because the speaking section, right? The section that we're on. We want to we want to finish that. And then we're gonna go to the to the writing section. Okay. Y solo ya para que sepan, and the in the writing section, uh lo que les va a ayudar bastante también van a ser las linking word. Ya que speaking and writing eh, le, se le llama productive skills in English, speaking and writing, porque estás produciendo información. Y lo, lo mismo que tú haces en writing, tú lo puedes hacer speaking. Y lo mismo que tú haces en speaking, lo puedes hacer en writing. Ok, porque son productive skills. Um, so, si tú usas linking words in speaking, te va a ayudar mucho en la parte de writing. Ok. All right, very good, guys. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow then. Take care, okay? All right, have a good night. Thank you. All right, good night. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.